Hi, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith. We've gone over the instructions from Mice and Mystics. We've gone over the setup. So we should be ready to start playing, right? Well, almost. In a couple seconds, I'm going to get looped down here, and we will start the playthrough, but there's just two things I want to mention first. You'll notice I've rearranged the table space a little bit here. I've removed all of the tiles except for the tile that we're going to be playing on. That's just going to help me a little bit with the camera work, but also allows me to keep everything close together and a little more organized. Now, with that in mind, we do have to pay attention. Now, where were the exit spaces and where can we go? Because remember, there was a tile here, but there's no exit here. And the exits that are on the sides, well, they don't do anything because there was no tiles on either side of them. So you can't exit in this direction or in this direction. However, there is a flip space right here in the grating. So obviously what we're going to have to do is clear this tile of enemies and then drop through the grating. That will allow us to flip the tile and then hopefully we should see an exit space on this location here, leading to that next tile. So once we move to the new tile, then put this one away and bring the new tile out. All right, so then I'll just put these guys back on the space where they were. The only other thing I did not tell you guys in the last episode that I wished I had was the stats for the Rat Warriors. So if you look at their initiative cards, that's where the information is. They have a two for their battle value. It's a melee attack, so they'll be able to roll two dice when they attack. They also have two for their defense. So when we attack them, they'll roll two dice defending. And they have an ability called aggressive. So after the Rat Warriors activate, they will then move up one space on the initiative track. So right now they're in the third position, but after they activate, they'll then move to the second position. So they'll keep moving up and up the initiative track until they're in first place, but hopefully we'll have dispensed with them by that time. Okay, so that's all I wanted to go over. We're now ready to start the gameplay. When we come back, Luke will be with me and we'll get started. <laughs> And here he is. I've been joined by... Luke Smith. Luke, this game, as you know, we've played this first scenario three times, I think. We lost yeah. the first two, and we won one. Third one. So we'll see if we can get a little help from our friends and maybe pull out a win this time around as well. Now, one of the things in the last episode is I told you a little bit about the story, because this game really does have quite a strong story behind it. And uh, I don't want to go into too many details, but remember, we were humans that have now been transformed into mice. Yeah. Uh, and the thing about this spell that transformed us is it's permanent. Maganos doesn't know how to turn us back into humans. He doesn't, so, know, how, he doesn't know how to un us. Yeah, they're <laughs> going to be mice forever. Yes. Fighting evil. But we don't have time to really worry about that. We've been dumped in the middle of this dungeon floor, and there's rats all around us, and they want to attack us. So we just got to gear up. We got to get in there. And charge! <laughs> okay, and charge. Well, we'll see, actually, because the first thing is we're going to be moving Meganos, and that was a viewer submission. Keith Collins, one of our viewers, a viewer from way back, I actually met Keith at Gen Con, he supplied the move for Meganos. And so what he wants to do is have Meganos move to the helmet and do a search there. Now, of course, he could attack, but the only problem with Meganos is in the early stages of the game, he doesn't have a very strong attack staff. And although we'd love to get him some cheese so that he can use his, what is his mystic cheese? bolt, it's probably better off from Keith's perspective. What he said was, let's let the fighting happen with the other mice. Maybe they'll collect some cheese. Then we can give it to Meganos later so we can use it to fire those mystic bolts. That sounded like a good strategy to me. So we're going to bring the camera down here and we're going to do Meganos' turn. So the first thing we're going to do is move to the helmet. Now before you move, you have to roll a die. Dice. You take the number that you rolled, which in this case was two. a two, and you add it to your mouse's movement value. Now you can see on his card here he has a movement of two. Two. So that means he gets a total of? Four. Right. Now the funny thing is, he has a movement of two, and in order to get to the helmet, all we needed was that two. So we didn't really need to roll the die, but that's what you're supposed to do before you move, and I wanted to show you how that worked. But now Meganos is going to do a search. So we're going to have to roll that die again and hope we get a star. 
Yes! Oh, we did. Now that means the search was successful. If we hadn't got a star, that would have used up our search action, but Meganos wouldn't have found anything. Now a mouse can search on any space, but in the storybook it says, if a mouse searches on this space with a helmet, they're going to find a specific item, the Tinkerer's Treasure. Well, Luke is already off to a pretty good start with the dice yep. rolling. And we're gonna go looking through here for the Tinkerer's Treasure, um, which is in here. Is that it? No. no. Uh, it's in here. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Found it. So we get to take that out, and then we shuffle up the search deck, obviously, and we're gonna put that back on the story control board. And I'll show you guys very quickly what the Tinkerer's Treasure actually is. So you'll notice this card requires a Tinkerer class mouse in order to use it. Now, Meganos is no Tinkerer, but he'll keep this in his pack until he's on the same space or adjacent to Nez, our Tinkerer, and then he'll be able to do a share action and give it to Nez. And then Nez will be able to look through the search deck, take any one weapon or armor card from the search deck, and then this card, the Tinkerer's Treasure, will get shuffled back into the search deck. So this card is really going to let us cherry pick something good <laughs> for our mouse party. Uh, so we'll put this in Meganos' pack for now, face down there, and it's time for Colin's turn. Now, this one was submitted to us by actually two viewers. The viewer who got the most votes was Joel's 72 and he said, let's attack some rats with Colin. <laughs> but he didn't specify which rat. So then I looked and Sponge Trap suggested that we attack the rat closest to us, okay? So let's good see, idea. Yeah, I think it's a good idea too. So let's get you guys back to the table here. We'll roll a dice for movement and we'll see what happens. Now you were all at a slight disadvantage when you were trying to decide what to do with Colin and Meganos because you didn't really know what their total movement was gonna be. So from now on, when we end an episode, I'm gonna roll the movement dice for the mice that you guys will be controlling. So then you'll be able to decide where do you really wanna go and attack. Because right now, if we roll the movement dice and get a three for Colin, it might make more sense to take advantage of that distance and come up here and try to attack one of these rats and leave a closer one say for Nez in case he rolls a low number. But anyway, for now, we are committing to this attack and we're going after this rat warrior. Now, Colin's movement is two. So again, when we roll the dice, it doesn't really matter because the total, in this case, he rolled a three. So three plus two is five. That easily gets us over here, but Colin already had the movement to get there anyway. So he's gonna move to this space here and attack. So what Luke's gonna do is he's gonna roll a number of dice equal to Colin's battle value, which in this case, Colin's battle value is two, plus the value of his sword, which is a plus one. So how many dice, Luke? Three. Three dice. And what we're gonna be looking for here is, a, is swords and shields, or just swords. Whoa, oh. that's pretty good. Good. We've got Ooh. two, Swords and shields, so those count as potential hits, but we do have to roll the defense for the Rat Warriors, and that's two dice. I'll roll those. What we don't want to see here are any shields. <sighs> Phew! No, it's Wait. okay. Oh, yeah! Because we only rolled one shield, so that would cancel this hit, but this one still gets through. And these Rat Warriors, they only have one, one. Health, one health, so they're gone. This one's gone anyway. <laughs> Now, as good as that was, we still have a problem. Two rat warriors. That's correct. So we're going to take these dice away. And now these rat warriors are going to activate. Now, what happens is they are going to move towards the closest mouse, which unfortunately is Meganos here. <laughs> so what we do is we're going to roll a die for each rat, and that rat will then move that number of spaces based on the number rolled. So Luke's going to go ahead and roll for this one here. One. This is where we want to yes. roll low, so that's good. So this mouse goes here. And now we're gonna roll for this mouse here. Oh, three. Oh. three. So this one is gonna be able to go one, two, three. Getting close to Meganos, it's adjacent, so it is going to be able to attack. Now, this particular rat warrior, as I said before, is gonna to get to roll two dice for attack. So I'll roll the attack, and then Luke will roll the defense. Only one potential hit, this sword and shield. And Luke is gonna roll the defense dice. Which is one. Right, and just to give you guys an idea, only two of the sides on the dice have a shield symbol. Go ahead, Luke, roll it in there. Let's see if you get a shield. Yes! <laughs> oh, my man. 
Very nice. So that attack, it was blocked. So Meganos does not take a wound, which is good because Meganos only has three wounds he can take. So that rat warrior's turn is finished. Now, I should mention, when I moved this rat, I kind of just went over here and did the movement for this rat. But the reason I did that is because there's no actions, there's no attack that this rat could do. So a rat moves and then attacks. This one moved and it was able to attack, so it did. Now that the rat warriors are done, we're gonna activate their special ability. And as my dad said earlier, this rat moves up one space on the initiative track. All right, so it's Ness's turn, or as I like to call him, Luke. <laughs> what do you want to do? Well, I'm going to move and try to attack, hopefully. Okay, so you first have to roll a die and see how much you can move. Oh, Four! That's perfect. Yes, because Nez has a total movement of one. So with the three, that gives him four. So basically, you can go after any rat you want. Now... The one straight in! <laughs> That's that charge you wanted to do earlier. Yeah. Okay, so you go ahead and move it up there. A little bit of a reach for you. Perfect. Boy, you're standing right on the grate. Don't, <laughs> don't fall through. Okay, so how many dice do you get to roll? Your battle value is two. Two. And then Nez's hammer gives Luke another plus two as long as he's attacking. Uh, adjacent. That's right. The minion has to be adjacent, which it is. So I'm going to give you four Whoa. dice to roll. This is going to give you a pretty good shot at beating this this particular minion. Let's see how you do. Wow! Three hits! Three possible hits. That's fantastic. Okay, so we'll take these three possible hits out, and then I'm going to roll the defense uh, for the, uh, the minion. And even if we roll two shields, it's not going to matter. <laughs> we did roll one shield. So two hits gets through, and that, of course, that removes this rat from the tile. So far, all of the mice are doing exactly what they need. The only one who can mess it up now is me <laughs> with Tilda. So Tilda has a movement stat of two, two and I'm gonna roll my die, and I rolled a two. So a total of four spaces, but Ooh. actually I'm gonna go one, two, I'm gonna go into the same space here as Meganos, and I'm gonna attack this rat as well. So my attack value is actually two. So not, not the greatest, but let's see what I get. I get two misses. Okay, so I didn't hit anything. And unless you roll at least one hit, you don't have to roll defense. So that's a complete round. We had some good, we had some bad. And we had some fun! <laughs> yes, and we had some fun. Well, I hope you had some fun too. Now sometimes in future videos we might do more than one round. Because it's the first gameplay video, I'm going to end it here. This will give me a chance to see how long a full round takes for us to edit and put together. And then we'll be able to know from future videos how much more we want to do. So I'm going to give you guys a shot of the board as we end here. And once again, Meganos is going to be going first. So I'm going to be writing out to some of our playmakers. Some of you submitted uh, moves as playmakers and I didn't pick them. So this time I'm going to contact one of those playmakers and ask them for a move for this turn. And then, of course, the rest of you, uh, please go ahead and provide suggestions for what you think Colin should be doing on this turn. Of course, remember, if you feel confident that we're going to defeat these rats, we have the option of doing some more searching, perhaps getting some better stuff to equip yeah. our mice with, or doing a trade, or uh, maybe flipping that tile. Of course, we can only flip the tile once we get rid of that rat warrior that's still on the tile. Oh, yeah. And don't forget, this time around, Meganos is going first, but then it's the... Rat warriors! <laughs> and then it will be Colin. And after those rat warriors go, they're then going to move into first place yeah. on the initiative track. So also, when I show you guys the board, I'll also roll for the movement of both Meganos and Colin. Actually, I'll let you roll. You're right. better at rolling the dice. <laughs> but anyway, hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you will join us for the next episode. Until then, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.